Yo, what is going on YouTube? Back here on this Madden 15 career mode. Week 5 with Ace Cannon to do the New England Patriots. You see the stats. We are 5th in the NFL in offense and 1st in the NFL in offense. Going into week 5, playing against the Buffalo Bills who are 2-2. Two and two. And we have two back-to-back -back games against AFC East rivals. That is the Buffalo Bills in New York and the New York Jets. And basically, we've been killing teams. We've been killing teams ever since the Colts, the Packers. We beat the Bills 34-3. And we have to face them after our bye week again on Monday Night Football. So, our the name of the game is just to dominate in primetime television. They got the ball for Actually, we had the ball first. We didn't do anything. So, we, were, we had to punt the ball away. And on first and 10, Ace Cannon is going up there to make the tackle in the backfield. And on third and six, Blaine Cobb gets his first sack of the game. So we're, we're trying to strike big on defense. Just, try, just trying to do big things. And basically, this season has just been easy. It's been a breeze. Like, I really can't. I really can't express enough how we are just killing teams as 39 Ryan Tannehill throws up the ill-advised pass and it is brung down by Logan Ryan which gives not only our defense a spark but it gives our offense a spark we've been killing it with sacks like we, we literally get like I swear six sacks a game like our defensive line is pretty like you'll be surprised how I'm in back there coveraging trying to like I'm back there like in coverage and I'm only in coverage for about like two seconds because our D-line is getting back there so quick. So, so quick. So we're leading the game 7-0. Little drop down pass from Ryan Tannehill and you see Ace Cannon coming to make the tackle. Second and four, just gang tackling. Everybody, everybody just hustles to the ball. I swear. And another sack and a forced fumble. But the Buffalo Bills do recover. And that is Blaine Cobb with the second sack of the game, which makes it 14 11. So they had to punt the ball away. And our offense was able to go down the field, but only for a field goal. So it's a 10 to, six, a 10 to 0 lead. Which the Buffalo Bills, they could come back, you know, score a few points here and there. Either tie the game up or take the lead. But on second and 10, a little run up the middle by Randall and Man, six rushes for four yards. That's that just shows how dominant our defense is. Literally. Third and seven. Basically, I would say their last chance <laughs> because because they have been do, able to do nothing on offense. And there it goes. Another interception. This time by the Royal Revis. And Ryan Tannehill has to be just slapping himself in the face because that is another ill-advised throw. I mean, what do you do at this point? The running game isn't working. The passing game isn't working. What do you do? Like seriously, probably just take a chance. And I don't blame him because it was it was third and something. It's just like a punt. I mean, they they weren't gonna get the the first down anyway. So why? I, I'd say why not. But just after after that interception, there was nothing else to show you guys. Literally, because we dominated. They had two late scoring drive, but that's because I got lazy. I kept fooling around. So we we won the game 39 to 14. Yeah, they scored more points than the first time we met him, but still, it just goes to show how dominant our defense was. And you see it, 14 points in the fourth quarter by the Buffalo Bills. That's because we got lazy. We just didn't want to play anymore. So the next game right after that, the 4-0 Patriots are going against the 4-1 New York Jets. And if you remember last year, the New York Jets gave us problems both times we played them. That's why I didn't want to see them in the playoffs last year. So on first and 10, we already got a 7-point lead, a handout to the running back. That goes for about like three yards second and seven Jets quarterback is dropping back finding his man for the first down mm, you know pretty good start first and ten you see me I missed the tackle but I do disrupt the ball carriers momentum and we sat and we tackle him for only a one yard gain second and nine a screen pass to the halfback and you see ace cannon making the tackle behind the line of scrimmage so which forces it to be a third and ten Dropping back and gets intercepted. And he has nothing but green grass in front of him. Nobody's going to catch him from behind. A crazy, crazy, crazy interception return. Just a crazy pass thrown. I, I did not think he would throw that. Why would you throw that pass? As a red takes it all the way for the INT return, which makes the score 14-0. And this is looking to be like another blowout. So on a third and ten, back at their own territory, passing play, 
I see where the quarterback is going and I jump the route and Ace Cannon gets his second interception of the season. See that play coming all the way. Look at the height that Ace Cannon was able to get on that interception. Getting the ball at his highest point. And with him being 6'3", that helps with getting balls at the highest point. Pause. But unfortunately with that interception, we weren't able to drive down the field. We weren't even able to get a freaking field goal. But that man, that's Blaine Cobb again. Blaine Cobb getting his second sack of the game. This guy's gonna be have a beastly year if he keeps producing the amount of sacks that he is. And on a third and 19, there's nothing else to do. I mean, oh my gosh, off of a off of a bobbled catch, the tip drill. I mean, it ain't no fun unless we all get some. We need a tip drill. Logan Ryan, two interceptions back to back. He had one last week and he has one again this week. Check out the awareness to catch the ball as it was tipped. Making sure the ball was safely secure in his hands before he started running. And we were able to get a field goal off of that turnover. So it is now a 17-0 lead. This is this is looking to be like another blowout. And I mean it does like to be honest with you, playing these games it does get boring. I mean it's nice to see, you know, the defense dominate and stuff like that, but it gets boring sometimes because it's just like the game's already over. The game's already over. There's no way they're coming back. I mean, they could be, they could barely even move. I mean, they're moving the ball this drive, which they are, and I do applaud them for that. First and ten, dropping back, finding Eric Decker with the nice comeback route. But at the same time, man, the same time it just gets you. You know that if they score here, they're not gonna score again. Though they do get the first down. Second and goal. I see the crossing pattern. And I'm able to stop the, the receiver before he could get any, any more amount of yards. And with that, he should, you see him, man. He's not getting up. He is in severe pain. I probably broke a rib or something. Third and goal. Just to pass into the end zone. Hoping that one of his receivers can come down with it. But they don't. That's the type of defense we have at New England. And they are forced to kick a field goal. Making this a 17-3 lead. And by the end of this game, like I said, if they scored that drive, they weren't going to score again. It's 41-3. to Like, seriously, it's... Oh, man. There's nothing really much to talk about anymore. I mean, that is just five games we had where we just dominated. We've, we've beaten our opponents by 20 points. Like, on all five games we played this season, we've beaten our opponents by more than 20 points. And then four of the five games, we've beaten them by more than 30 points. Like, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous the amount of the amount of success we are getting, not only with our defense, but with our running game. Right now, our running back leads the NFL in uh, rushing yards, and on fourth and 19, he oh he was almost close to the first down, but I was there to stop him from preventing him from getting the first down, and it's just it's just ridiculous the amount of just success we are getting. Not only with our defense, but with our offense. And with that being said, there goes another dominant win for us. The score was 41-3. I mean, what more can I say? Probably uh, probably the best defensive showcase we've seen in the NFL in years. In years. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Make sure you share the video. More Madden 15 career mode coming soon. Hopefully, I'll be saying more Madden 16 career mode coming soon. As always, this is the boy NSG Commentary, and I will be back with more. But as for now, I catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.